What's going on, world? You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Nikki. And your boy, Dean. You are officially tuned in to the Nikki and D podcast show. Let's get it, man. Woo. Let's get into this bad boy. But you guys already know what time it is, man. Today is Motivation Monday, man. So, you know, you ah, man, got me over here messing up. But you already know we got to read our, you know, passage for you guys and we'll elaborate. And then we got, you know, some other things you want to go into, like you know, how it's been, you know, handling life in this COVID pandemic and all that good stuff like you know like yo she over here sitting pretty so she's clearly doing okay (laughs) (laughs) okay so today's reading um we kind of just found it on the internet and there was no credits to anybody so it's for anybody and it's for us and for you so it's called if you so choose If you so choose, the challenges can make you stronger. If you so choose, the disappointments can make you more determined. If you so choose, every mistake can lead to greater understandings and effectiveness. If you so choose, every frustration can help you to be more patient and more persistent. If you so choose, even the unexpected setbacks can bring new and positive possibilities. If you so choose, you can find value and fulfillment in every circumstance. Mm -hmm. If you so choose, each day can be filled with even more joy than the one before. For. If you so choose, even the most seemingly random events can work in your favor. If you so choose, you can remain steadily focused no matter what distractions may attempt to throw you off course. If you so choose, you can look back on this day with no regrets. Life is filled with an endless variety of circumstances, opportunities, and possibilities. If you so choose, you can make the most of all of this and every moment. Wow. Wow. If you so choose, man. The question is, what are you guys choosing to do today? Uh-huh. Man, you know, what I got out of that, like you know, for me, is you know, what you choose to do will be your reality. Like, you know, if you if we all wake up every single morning, we can either choose to make it the best or make it the worst day, man. Like, you know, everything we do starts with what we choose to do, how we choose to react to certain situations, how we choose, you know, to go about our our day, how we choose, you know, to succeed. If we choose to succeed or if we choose to fail, it's one of the it's one of the other. Like, you're choosing it. Like, everything you do in your life will be as a result of the decisions that you chose to make, right? You had to choose to make those decisions, right? Nobody made them for you. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, at the end of the day, it is your life, right? So, so be in control of your life. And I suggest that you choose to be the very best version of yourself every single day. Like, you choose to be great. If it's not for yourself, for your family, for your wife, for your spouse, for Preach, your daughter, preacher. for everybody, man. Hey. It doesn't matter. Hey. <laughs> you got me all excited. You got me excited. Preach, but just preacher. choose to be great, man. Like, even though you know sometimes it gets you down like you like covid like we're about to talk about that like it, it was hard man like you know i'm not even gonna lie like we had a lot of things planned like we had so oh, much yeah. things like we invested money here and then you know, saw things like you'll know, fall through but we chose to like yo know, tough it out together we chose to like you know, rise above it we chose to not let that defeat us even though it could have but we, we chose not to like you know, and you know this you know, <laughs> hey guys this covid this pandemic has caused couples to like you know, just completely fall out fall all the yeah. way out like divorce is at an all-time high right like yo i know a lot of couples they know it's kind of shaky but we chose like yo to to be here for each other and it's kind of different because you know like i said you're making my best friend man like there's nothing new to this man i see her every day anyways man <laughs> like, I yo, know. that was one of the things i was thinking about like during this pandemic i had spoken to a few of my friends and they were kind of like being home with my husband all day it's just like <laughs> ugh, like go to work why are you here but i'm like it's normal it's funny because remember we were at my sister's house a few weeks ago and we we're talking about like just having privacy like do you get time alone like do you ever get time to like spend on your own and i was like i mean i do but i don't like i could be gone for like 15 minutes and i can guarantee calm down i already know what you're trying to say like (laughs) calm down i can guarantee (laughs) dean and melody are gonna pop through any door of whatever room i'm in and just look at me and just taking what I'm doing. I could be no. doing my face, I could be on the toilet, I could be just sitting on the bed. It doesn't matter what it is. They are coming. Hey, what you over here like, doing? Literally. What you over here doing, okay? <laughs> it's it's us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's not, that's funny. You know what's funny? Like, yo, I, the other day, yo, she went on the road. She said she was gonna get some stuff or whatever. Shorty was gone like, yo, <laughs> three hours, two no. hours. 
You're a guy. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, if she needed a break, yo. If she needed a break, yo. But sometimes, you know, you know, a break is good. Sometimes, you know, I come in my studio. This is my studio. I just be in here, man. I'll be doing music yeah. or doing whatever, like you know, like. It is what it is. Like, you know, bricks aren't necessary sometimes because it can kind of get crazy, man. Like, yeah, but, but it's not like I'm tired of seeing you get yeah, out of my like, face. We're... It's just like, I need to think for a second, so mm -hmm. I'm going to step aside for a second. We're different, man. Not everybody is <laughs> like this. Like, you know, some people, you know, they be driving themselves crazy. Like, you know, I could, some people can't do this. It's yeah. like impossible. But to be honest, like, yo, this is how it was ever since we were even like friends, you know, like, know. yo, <laughs> friend, yo, she lives like two minutes up the road from my house. And like, yo, what are you saying? All right, yo, let's chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Literally. Like, and that's where we are today, man. Like, yo, talk about best friends. I'm literally best dying. Friend. I'll try. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, yo, but honestly, man, yo, we hope you guys got something out of that, man. Like I, like I said, man, I hope you actually do choose to be the very best version of yourselves, like at all times, man. Yo, even when situations come to like, yo, knock you off your feet, that like, you have the courage to like, yo, choose to stand up, like, yo, choose not to be defeated. Yeah. And um, yeah. I mean, that's what I say. Hey, you, wait, do you have anything to say? I think the preacher said it all. That pretty much encompasses Ooh, cop everything. out. Nobody else can. Cop out. <laughs> <laughs> You're annoying. Cop out. <laughs> that is the biggest cop out. Nobody else is you. Nobody else can choose what you're gonna do. You hold the key to whatever it is that you're gonna do and be. So come on and be it because you chose it. What that she, that what, didn't rhyme. Yeah, but what she's trying to say is like, yo, the world is depending on you to be, <laughs> be to choose to be the best version of yourself. Of yourself. Man. Because, like, yo, somebody out there needs you. Needs like, you. Somebody out there, like, yo, needs that story you're going through right now, man. It might, you might think, yo, you're going through the worst time in your life. And it's, oh, man, oh, God, why me? Why me? But, yo, man, somebody, there might be a, 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 a nation of people that's waiting for you to get through that story so you can tell them how to overcome that story, man. And just sometimes that's just how it is, man. Like, yo, God knows how strong you are. Like, yo, God. I know you can endure, you know, things that you know, most people can't endure. So for whoever I'm speaking to right now, just know that you're just the blessing on the other side. Just keep doing you, man. Like, don't give up. Do not give up. We need you. The world needs you. And you need you. And I need you. I need you. And that's that. So mm -hmm. what else we got, man? What, 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 what are we talking about today? Well, today, I think we kind of dipped into it already, but just kind of how the pandemic has been treating us, how COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, coronavirus, whole enchilada mm. how it's kind of been treating us um like Dee said i think we are kind of making it through we're we're mm -hmm. happy we're you know surviving everything's surviving. great but it wasn't always like that um in the beginning i think when we first had Mello, we literally had her at the top of the year when this thing was just coming out and we did like really didn't know what it was about mm -hmm. um and so when what happened like you guys know we were always in the hospital with mellow and then this thing was becoming even bigger and getting even scarier and it was like i had to be going in the hospital by myself with her and there were all these covid i thought they were covid patients because they were just coughing and doing the most yeah. and it was like it was just really scary at the top of the year for me and us especially with a new baby having all these sicknesses and allergies that we didn't know about and it was just a lot and you know when you have a new baby you want to share that baby with the world you want to share that baby with your family and friends and then we got into this whole lockdown and she wasn't able to see anybody and it was just yeah. like a ricochet of just like disappointment after disappointment with this whole COVID thing and you know it kind of made me sad um we're still in a lockdown so family can't really come over we can't really go anywhere and so our poor kid is growing up thinking that the world outside are scary masks wearing aliens <laughs> right, yo, trust me. you know but she actually went to the doctor the other day and he was like you know she's doing really well for somebody who is not growing up with other children around her yeah. almost like she's been at daycare um but i think like i was saying in the beginning was a little bit rough in that sense but I think it gets better. It got better. Yeah, I did, man. But like, yo, uh, uh, as well, uh, yo, two, 2020 started, yo, like I said, we had Mel, pandemic came, rocked our worlds. But then, yo, guys, like, yo, the year ended really rough for us, yo, like, and then, yo, 2021 began and it was like, yo, even worse, right? Like, we'll get into all of that stuff a little bit later, but like, yo, it was, man, like, that's why we've been gone. Like it, it, it rocked us. Like it rocked our world upside down. But like, you know, like I said, 
we are choosing to be here like we're choosing to keep going and that's very important man so yeah like as, as although covid has been you know obviously a setback covid has birthed a lot of like yo good things for us like yo, we might not see the fruits of our labor right now but we will once this thing is over and like and if it wasn't for covid a lot of things wouldn't have happened right yo so like even for you guys out there like i want to know in the comment section was covid like yo a blessing in disguise for you or was it like yo the worst nightmare you ever had i know that's kind of like one of the big things too mm -hmm. that are, like in just talking to a lot of people they have said like covid although it's been rough and a lot a lot has happened in this season but a lot of people were able to stop and sit back and like analyze their lives mm -hmm. figure out what they want to do find new passions new interests like i see a whole bunch of makers on my friends list that i didn't even know could make and or cook or mm -hmm. sew or anything like it's amazing you were able to you know sit back and figure things out i'm gonna hit you guys with another truth my people are choosing to just bet on themselves like you know because right now like your jobs everybody's getting laid off or jobs are like you know just saying like yo we don't got none people are going bankrupt mm -hmm. all that stuff so all you can do is really like you know, choose to bet on yourself and that's what we're doing that's what a lot of people are doing and you know like hopefully like you know it works out man like yeah, at the end of the day like i feel like yeah, we're all here we all placed there for one specific reason and you know it's up to us to like you know actually live out our reason live out our purpose you know? so whatever that is man just choose to do that mm -hmm. right and yo that's that you know i was also just reminded of like a moment that happened during covid between us mm. when we were out in bc we actually hit a point like we weren't fighting or we weren't fighting but like we hit a moment in our marriage where it was kind of like wh where are we like what's mm -hmm. happening right now in oh this yeah season? like Mm -hmm. We need to figure oh, yeah, things I remember out now. right now, like what's going mm -hmm. on. And we had been in BC, I think I just said that already, but we were in BC at the mm -hmm. time. And we literally just sat down and we had the realest conversation yeah. I think we ever had in our entire life. Probably even more serious than you telling me you want to be with me. Like, honestly, we hit topics, we hit moments, and I... We, I, I literally fell in love with this guy all over again. Yo, I to be know. honest... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's real like that yeah. actually happens it's yeah. not tv all right there's gonna come a point in your relationship where <laughs> you just feel like yo but it's now or never like i thought we actually got to that point and yo like having that conversation and having like clarity and like you know like you just clear vision of where we wanted to be or what we wanted out of each other like yo that was everything i, I even messaged her like yo maybe like a, a week after like yo like i love this yeah. marriage <laughs> like yo i love this man yo, but that's that's the that's the beauty of the journey man like it, it, it may be a roller coaster you may have some ups you may have some downs but like yo like i said like yo love is more than you know just a feeling like yo, it's a decision yeah. like, yo, and it's you choosing you choose. to love uh, your significant other every day for the rest of your life you see my yo, yo man, you, you yeah. just gotta choose to be ah. the best person like yourself <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling you, like a lot of people be like, yeah, oh, man, yo, I love this movie. Why? Like, you know, like you can never really explain the why because that's not the feeling. Like, mm -hmm. it's 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 a feeling that you know you get and you don't really share that feeling with a lot of other people. But yeah. like, you know, in all actuality and in reality, like you, know, it's not just a feeling. Like, it's that decision to like you know, love that person, do thick and thin. Like, yo, know, and that's what it is. That's why yo, know, this marriage has just been amazing. Man, yo, know, tell us if you guys like you. Know, are, are, are rocking with the marriage like yo how you guys think we've been doing like yo how have i been loving on her how has she been loving on me how have we been raising our baby girl melody like yo like yo we want to know man we yeah, want to know we want to know for real, for real. We wanna know, but yeah like it, it's been a blessing like yo because now we got to like really understand each other like you'll dig into each other like you'll see what you know likes and dislikes everything like yeah we knew all of that but you sometimes you get comfortable like you know in situations like and, you know man just have to shake our world upside down yeah. literally and yo we here man we standing we ain't going nowhere no 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 we just choose to us be here. As well, and know. always you already know uh, but yo, we gonna end this podcast episode so you already know what type it is man we go into the top 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 up 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 all the way to the top 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 up 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 you already know what time it is it's your boy dean and your girl nikki and we out peace